to Zakia. How can fasting enable us to enter paradise, the Jannah? As far as fasting being a way to paradise, as we mentioned earlier, Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 183, Lallakum tatakun, so that you may learn self-restraint. That means make it taqwa, and taqwa will be a way to paradise. Therefore, Allah says in the next verse, Surah Baqarah, chapter two, verse 184, fasting is better for you if you only knew it. That means it's better to fast. And Allah says in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 35, innal muslimina wal muslimati, for Muslim men and women, wal mu'minina wal mu'minati, for believing men and women, wal qanitina wal qanitati, for devout men and women, wal sadiqina wal sadiqati, for true men and women, wal sabirina wal sabirati, for men and women who are patient, wal khashiina wal khashiati, for men and women who humble themselves, wal mutasaddiqina wal mutasaddiqati, for men and women who give in charity, wal sa'imina wal sa'imati, for men and women who fast, wal hafidina furujum wal hafidati, for men and women who guard their chastity, wal zakirina wal zakirati, for men and women who engage much in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's praises, a'adallahu, no makfrat wa ajnathima, for them Allah has prepared forgiveness and ample of reward. This reward is Jannah. So all these people Allah is talking about, those who submit their will to Allah, those who believe, those who are devout, those who are true, those who offer salah, those who pay zakat, those who fast in the month of Ramadan, those who observe chastity, those who praise Allah. All these people, Allah has promised them paradise. So this verse also talks about paradise. And it's mentioned in Sahih Hadith of Musnad Ahmad, volume number one, Hadith number 1661. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that a woman who prays a five times salah and fast and observes the chastity and obeys the husband, she will enter paradise. And there's a hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, hadith of Tirmidhi, in the book of supplications, hadith number 3545. Once Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he climbs on a member and he says, Amin, Amin, Amin thrice. So the Sahabas, they ask him, that why have you said Amin? So he says that Archangel Gabriel, he had come to him and he was saying that a person who does not have his sins forgiven in the month of Ramadan, then it is very sad for him and he shall not enter paradise. Say Amin. Archangel Gabriel tells Moses, say Amin. So Moses repeats Amin thrice. Further, the Hadith which is mentioned in Sayyid ibn Ihban, in the book of fasting, hadith number 3438, where a person approaches the Prophet and tells him that I worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I believe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Messenger of Allah. I pray five times a day. I give zakat. And I fast in the month of Ramadan and I stand in prayer. Who will I be amongst? What will be my reward? The Prophet said that you will be amongst the followers of the Prophet and the martyrs. That means you should go to Jannah. Further, there's a hadith which is mentioned in the book of Tirmidhi, hadith number 2616. A person comes and asks the Prophet that what act should I do by which I can go to Jannah? So the Prophet says that this is a very difficult thing to do. But for whom Allah wants it to make easy, it's very easy. He should believe and worship only one God and should not associate any partner with Almighty God and believe in the messenger. He should pray five times a day. He should give zakat. He should fast and he should perform hajj. And this person, inshallah, will go to Jannah. There's another hadith which is mentioned in Muslim Ahmad, also repeated in Sunan Nisai, as well as Sahih Jami, hadith number 4044 where Abu Umama, may Allah be pleased with him, he comes to the Prophet and asks that, what act should I do that will take me to paradise? So the Prophet said, you fast. There's nothing like it. So one act that will take a person to Jannah, the Prophet said, fast, there's nothing like it. And further it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, 
Hadith number 1899, the Prophet said that during the month of Ramadan, the gates of heaven they open and the gates of hell are closed and the devils are chained. And the Prophet also said in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 3, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 1896, where it says that in the heaven there is a gate by the name of Rayan. And only those people will pass through this gate who have fasted. And those who have not fasted, they will not pass through this gate. And Allah will say on that day that all those who have fasted, they stand up, and the people who have fasted will stand up, and they will enter through this gate. And after that, the gate will close. And all those who have not fasted will not be allowed to enter through this gate. So if you fast, you go to paradise, and you will enter through the gate of Rayan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to enter the gate of Riyan and to go to the Jannatul Fiddles, inshallah. inshallah.